What makes archaeology so fascinating is that it's a field where the landscape is constantly changing. Every year, new finds are dug up, new methods are tested, new studies come out of what we already have. This past year has been no exception, and indeed has featured some truly groundbreaking work. These are my top 5 prehistoric discoveries of 2023. The so-called Ivory Prince was buried lavishly around the turn of the 4th millennium BC in the monumental Iberian megasite of Valencia. Initially identified as a young male around 17 to 25 years of age, they were interred with an assortment of lavish grave goods, including ceramic plates with traces of wine and cannabis, multiple ivory objects including a whole carved elephant's tusk, and an astonishing rock crystal dagger which you may have seen floating around the internet. All in all, an individual of clear wealth and social status. And recently, new methods using amylogenin peptides found that the ivory prince was in fact likely a woman. This actually ties in well with the other finds on site at the Montelirio Tholos, where 15 women and 5 individuals of undetermined gender were buried in similar opulent circumstances and with similarly high levels of mercury, suggestive of cinnabar exposure. With no male counterparts to any of this, it has led to the suggestion that women possessed a particularly powerful role in Copper Age Iberian society, or, if nothing else, that they were at least capable of attaining such positions of rank and leadership. Valencia is a fascinating site in general, incidentally, and I will almost certainly be making a video about it in the future. The Clovis First hypothesis, that the first humans to arrive in the Americas were the Clovis culture some 14,000 years ago, has been out of fashion for some time now. Who was, and when they arrived however, remains a hotly debated topic in the scientific community. Earlier this year, however, several new studies came about to fan the flames. Radiocarbon dating of camel teeth found an association with two stone scrapers at Rimrock Draw Rock Shelter, Oregon, yielded a date of 18,250 years ago. In the Santa Elena Rock Shelter in central Brazil, three giant sloth bones appeared to have been modified for use as beads, and were dated to the last glacial maximum, some 19,000 years ago at least. Most recently and relevantly of all though, in White Sands, New Mexico, a series of fossilised footprints were dated using both pollen samples and optically stimulated luminescence, and these results suggested that whoever laid down these prints did so at least 21,500 years ago. None of these studies are without controversy, but all the same they provide a fascinating insight on the earliest history and peopling of the Americas. The first two sites, incidentally, were the topic of an excellent video by Stephen Milo, link in the description. If the early history of the Americas interests you at all, I'd strongly recommend giving it a look. While in Africa, the use of bows and arrows goes as far back as 70,000 years, the evidence in Europe prior to the Mesolithic is much more scant. At least, it was until the recovery of an assemblage of small flint arrowheads in Grotte Mandre in France. Dating back to around 54,000 years ago, in association with the first modern humans in Europe, they are the oldest pieces of proof we have for European archery by 40 millennia, the earliest evidence for projectile weapons in Eurasia as a whole, and, with their refined, standardised nature, represents an already developed technical industry among these peoples. While the use of projectile weapons by said peoples was already generally accepted in the scientific community, it remains a significant and interesting find. Coming up in second place, we have the potential discovery of a new human lineage in Hualongdong, China. Apologies if I butchered that, by the way. 
HLD-6 is a 300,000-year-old skull with an unusual mixture of archaic and modern traits, one which appears equally distinct from modern humans, Denisovans, and Homo erectus alike. In tandem with the other assorted remains from the site, HLD-6 was merely the most complete, its researchers have proposed the presence of an entirely new human lineage in the region, adding a whole new facet to the complex history of our genus, albeit not one without opposition. And finally, we have my top prehistoric discovery of 2023, a wooden structure dating back almost half a million years, 476,000 to be precise, give or take 23 millennia. It was uncovered from a river in Colombo Falls, Zambia, alongside several other waterlogged wood tools and objects. Consisting of two notched interlocking logs shaped into a right angle, it may have formed a walkway, a platform, maybe even the foundation for a dwelling, but regardless it remains one of the oldest examples of woodworking there is, the oldest example of structural engineering that I'm aware of, and has incredible implications for the technical abilities of these people who lived long before even the earliest modern humans ever came about. It is, in my opinion, genuinely groundbreaking, and leaves one wondering just what else there is, lost in our past, or waiting to be discovered. And that about covers it for my top 5 prehistoric discoveries of 2023. Obviously, this is only a very limited overview of a much larger amount of research that has happened this year. All the same, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do leak a like, comment and a subscribe for the algorithm gods. And of course, if you spotted any inaccuracies or pieces of misrepresented information, please do let me know. I hope you have a very happy new year and a wonderful 2024. Bye.